Thanks for tuning in to another physics lesson with Mr. M. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to convert revolutions per minute to radians per second. So our example problem here is the rotor on a helicopter turns at an angular speed of 320 revolutions per minute. We want to express this angular speed in radians per second. Given that this is a conversion problem, we need a um, conversion factor. And so the conversion factor for pretty much a revolution to a radian is that um, one full rotation is equal to two pi, all right? And so whenever I do a unit conversion problem, I like to use uh, T-charts, and we always kind of start with what we're given. So in this case, we're given 320 revolutions per minute. So 320 revolutions per one minute. And I'm going to start by converting minutes to seconds. So what we need to be able to do is cancel out our units. So if I got minutes on the bottom, I need to have minutes on the top so that they can cancel out. And I know for every one minute, there are 60 seconds. So I can go ahead and cancel out my minutes. Now let's go ahead and convert revolutions to radians. So my revolutions is at the top, so I need to have revolutions on the bottom to cancel out. And I know for every one revolution, there are two pi radians. And so now I can cancel out my units of revolutions. At this point, it's just a matter of multiplying everything on the top and then dividing by everything at the bottom. So if we were to go 320 times 2 pi, we would get 2010.6 radians. Divide that by 60 seconds. We get a final answer of 33.5 radians per second. All right. Um, I hope this video has been helpful in solving your own physics problem. If it has, please consider giving a like and a subscribe. As always, thanks for tuning in.